Hey everybody, it's Eric, 80's Horror Man here, and welcome to day three for my 31 Days of Horror. Today I'll be doing a movie from 1996, and this was like the 15th anniversary edition when it came out, and it's got both versions, the theatrical cut and the director's cut. And, the, and this movie's got the Michael J. Fox in it, and that's The Frighteners. This movie was actually a very fun movie, but I ended up watching this when that this movie came out. I never saw this movie in theaters, but I did end up watching this when this movie came on pay-per-view, and this movie was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it, and this was actually a, a lot of fun. And it, and it, basically, it's about where Frank Banster, he plays like a small-town ghostbuster here, here to deal with the, the exorcisms of spirits and ghosts. But, uh, but it turns out that it's like a little scam that he's doing. But then he ends up coming across this uh, Grim Reaper that he could actually see because he not only he could see ghosts, but he ends up seeing this uh, green, this uh, Grim Reaper that's just going around and killing certain people because when he because he sees numbers on the victim's foreheads, heads, and he doesn't know what the number means. But when he sees that Grim Reaper going after that victim that's got that number carved into your forehead. The Grim Reaper just kind of kills its victims by reaching into their chest and squeezing their hearts and taking their souls. So now he has to find a way to find out who this Grim Reaper is and put a stop to him. Or else he end up becoming its uh, next victim. So the theatrical version of this movie is on for like an hour and 50 minutes, but the director's cut version is on for two hours and three minutes. So I always go with the director's cut version because it's got more footage that you've never seen in the original version. But, but uh, you can't say nothing bad about this movie because this movie was just so much fun to watch when this movie came out back in 96. And I thought Michael J. Fox did actually pretty good in a horror movie. Even though he's best known for doing Back to the Future and Family Ties and all that, but he just act absolutely did a, a very good job at, in in this movie, and I just loved his work in this one. But uh, this movie also stars Jeffrey Combs, who plays this weird weird cop by the name of Dammers, and you also got Jake Busey in this one as well, and then you ha have have uh, also. Uh, D. Wallace from Critters, Cujo, E.T., and The Howling in this one. But, but the overall, this movie is just so much fun to watch. And, and the, for people who have seen this movie, you, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. But for people who haven't seen this movie, I definitely recommend checking out the movie The Frighteners. So, we're Overall, out of a possible 10, I give this movie eight and a half out of a 10. So, again, this movie is just so much fun to watch. I definitely recommend checking it out for people who hasn't seen it. But if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So, The Frighteners from 1996. Very fun movie to watch. Very good one to enjoy. All right, guys. So, that's uh, day three for my 31 Days of Horror. Uh, would you guys... Think if you've seen this movie before, or if you haven't, please let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for some more videos. Later.